Hey everybody, Adam with the Patia News, and we are coming to you on June 11, 2024, when we're recording this. You'll probably be watching this maybe a little bit after that, but we wanted to cover all the sorts of things that have been going on lately, especially for those of you uh, who are expats and concerned about the possibility of visa changes and tax changes. I'm going to cover that today and talk about those tax proposals and whether or not you should be worried yet. Uh, spoiler, no, you shouldn't, for those of you short on time, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. First, I'd like to thank you for watching, and make sure you subscribe, like, and follow for regular updates right here from Pattaya. Now, let's get into the events, as always, that are coming up for this week. The biggest event that is coming up is on the 14th, the Chang Street Food Market. Now, this is a brand new, well-ish, market located right by Soy 6. This market is starting their Street Beach Food Festival on the 14th, which will run all the way until the 23rd. And this is actually being highlighted by some of Thailand's biggest artists, mostly rock. Um, the big highlights of it will be on the 14th, Big Ass, one of Thailand's most famous rock bands, will be performing at the Street Food Festival. Number two is Carabao. Many of you know Carabao, one of Thailand's most famous rock bands ever, will be performing on the 21st. And the great deal about it is it's only 99 baht to get in and see them. And even if you don't want to see them, the street food market's going to have plenty of other entertainment for you to experience and plenty, of course, food. This is right next to Soy 6, just before the Hard Rock, heading down Patia Beach Road. This area eventually will become the Aquatique Hotel sometime in the future, but that's years off, and we're not going to talk too much about that today. Now, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is we reported on our last recap about visa changes, changes with various policies in Thailand um, that the Thai cabinet had proposed and had agreed on in principle on these visa changes. Some of those changes were uh, such as extending 60 days on arrival to pretty much like 90 countries, including bigger countries from where many of our readers come from, like the UK and the US. However, there was a lot of miscommunication, even from us, because it was miscommunicated by the government that this would start on the first of this month. Well, it didn't. People are still getting 30 day stickers. And this is because it was agreed on in principle, but not agreed on in final. And basically, until it appears in the Royal Gazette, and until Thai immigration and the other agencies all come together and agree on how this is going to work, right now, these proposals to extend on arrival from 30 to 60 days have not gone into effect. So keep that in mind if you're visiting. Meanwhile, the Thai government and the Thai cabinet has said that they hope to have this all fleshed out with the relevant agencies by the end of this month, the end of June. There's also, we talked a little bit about the Discover Thailand visa, um, which is supposed to be for things like students and digital nomads, but it's also going to have a lot of extra requirements. We've been told we're going to hear more information about that in the next month or two also. But again, this was not intended for people to just say, hey, look, I'm a YouTuber, let me in for five years. It's not that at all, and it's going to have multiple requirements. And we'll get to that once it comes out. Now, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was tax income in Thailand. There's been a lot of talks recently about Thailand potentially becoming like America, where they charge you on your tax income worldwide. This is a proposal. This is an idea. This is not set in stone. People lost their minds on forums over this. Uh, immediately, expats, people emailing us, if I stay over 180 days, does that mean that my property that I rent in the UK, I now have to pay tax on in Thailand? Right now, it's not necessarily intended for that. There's tax agreements to help protect against things like that. All we want to say right now is that don't panic. This is a proposal. It's not going to set things in stone. In many cases, yes, the Thai government is going to say this isn't meant for you. This is meant for Thai nationals and people trying to duck and avoid the top one percenters. But could it still apply? It could, but woulda, coulda, shoulda. We don't want our readers to panic over these proposals about taxing income worldwide yet. Now, there is more data and more information that's going to come out on this in the future. When that comes out, we will give it to you as soon as it's received. But right now, the main thing that I want to make clear on, don't panic. The other big news over the past weekend 
was at Patia City, held a meeting with bar guards and bar managers and owners from all around Patia, over 300 in total. This stems, of course, from one of the biggest stories that we've had in the past, well, couple months, actually, in which there was a major altercation on Soy 6 between a group of independent bar security guards and a group of intoxicated customers, which eventually made global headlines because one of the customers, while well, he was laying on the ground after being beaten, was kicked in the head violently, and many people were concerned about his health. Well, he was fine, actually. He walked away from the scene and later went out drinking on Walking Street, according to his own statements. However, everybody pretty much agreed that it was inappropriate to do that kick and that police and guards should never be involved in actual physical altercations with customers. Police made this very, very clear at the meeting this past weekend with guards. They made it very clear a uh, number of things, but the biggest thing is that Bar security guards are not police. They are not law enforcement. They are there to de-escalate the situation. They are there to calm things down. They are not there to fight customers, to apprehend people, to arrest them, or to take sides. Their main goal is to calm everything down. If they're unable to do that, and of course there's often language barriers which make that difficult to happen, they need to call police. And police, of course, can bring professional translators and people along to help coordinate the issue. So that was made very clear, and supposedly the guards agreed all across the city not to beat up customers. Do you think they're going to keep that promise? Tell us in the comments. Also, over the past weekend, at least four places that we're aware of and were publicly released were raided over the past weekend. When we say places, we mean entertainment venues and those that primarily cater to Thais and domestic Thai tourists. Now, police were very busy. Part of this has to do with a raid that took place about a week and a half ago at the Dirty Club, uh, which was actually led by one of the Thai uh, deputy ministers, in which over 200 people tested positive for drugs. Yes, 200. Um, now, as a result, they've been raiding Thai nightclubs all around the city. They have not yet targeted any of the popular clubs that mainly cater towards Western tourists um, for a couple of reasons, because that really hasn't been the problem area, and also... Anytime they target a club catering Western tourists and ask Westerners, even though it is legal, to ask them to take drug tests, it's disruptive to tourist holidays and usually hurts the face of the tourism image. So instead, they've been targeting Thai bars. This will continue in the near future, we've been told. And yes, they did test hundreds of Thais. The good news, the places they targeted, including the different nightclub in Sin Lipin, Isan, uh, they only found two people positive for drugs. And at one nightclub, they did find a gun, but it was in a vehicle and not in the actual club. Next thing that we're going to cover, uh, or next to last thing, is the rebranding of Patia. I've got a lot of messages about this recently. We made an article about a week and a half ago in which the Thai tourism industries were talking about rebranding Patia's image. A lot of people are like, oh, does this mean they're going to shut down all the bars? Um, bulldoze everything and uh, all, make all of them playgrounds and parks. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. There's absolutely no plan whatsoever to get rid of the nightlife in Patia. We want to make that perfectly clear. The rebranding plan instead, which has already been an unofficial plan by the Thai Tourism Authority for the past year, is any sort of promotional material or marketing around Patia, especially to a global audience, needs to focus only on things like Islands, the Sanctuary of Truth, Nong Nooch Gardens, tourism attractions, resorts, family-friendly activities. Although the nightlife exists and the nightlife will be there, they're not going to focus on that. So don't be surprised if you see promo videos about coming to Patia and enjoying how beautiful and wonderful it is, but you don't even see a picture of Walking Street or any mention that Patia has nightlife at all. That's what they mean, is they really want to focus on the family-friendly activities and the promotional marketing and branding materials to attract more of those customers here versus ones that may be attracted by nightlife. Does not include closing anything. Last but not least, I wanted to let everybody know, is very, very soon, in fact, a draft beta version of it is live on the website now. You can see a little banner for it at the top of our website is for our brand new e-paper. We've been asked for this on a regular basis from our readers, especially our older readers, who have stated, are you guys ever gonna do a proper newspaper? Print, no. 
But what we're going to be doing is a digital e-paper where pretty much all of our top stories from each week will be in the e-paper. And you'll also be able to click through. It'll be live with many of our videos and our other material. The current one on our website is a PDF version, which gives you an idea of what we're looking forward to before we make it fully digital. We're also looking for people who may be interested in advertising in our e-paper. If you take a look at the e-paper link, you can also see ways to contact us or sales at thepatianews.com. We have many affordable deals for those of you looking. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a safe week. See you soon.